So recently, I've been noticing a lot of comments on my how to homebrew your Wii U video asking about how to access Mii Maker after you've homebrewed your Wii U. Now this question comes up obviously because the homebrew launcher is embedded in the Mii Maker, so it's a common worry to wonder if you can still make Miis because it's a pretty big part of a Wii U is to create your own Mii. So I'm going to just make this quick video on how to access it after you've homebrewed it. So on tier Misu, uh, if you open up the Mii Maker, obviously it'll go into your homebrew launcher as you can see here. And to access your Mii Maker, all you need to do is click the home button on your Wii controller or your gamepad, and it'll take you right there. Just like that. So you don't have to do anything, you don't have to unhomebrew your Wii U to access it. Just click the home button and you'll get there. And just for further proof, I'll uh, switch over to the gamepad and show you that I'm making a new Mii. So we can create a Mii here. So we can. Do it the exact same as if our Wii wasn't homebrewed, our Wii U, sorry. So hopefully that clears some things up, and those of you that didn't know that you could access the Mii Maker still and just gave up on it, this is how. So no need to worry, you can still access it fine, uh, but I thought I would make a video quick because of all the questions about it. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!